Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Mackenzie Barr. We have had a few showers already and we do have more rain on the way. That's thanks to the remnants of barrel. It made landfall yesterday as a category one hurricane along the uh, Gulf Coast of Texas. And now the leftovers, as you could say, is moving into our region. Now we do have some good news when it comes to the track. The heaviest of the rain looks to stay west of our area, but we are gonna have some good downpours overnight and the chance for a storm or two. We're getting a little bit of a break right now across the area as a lot of the showers continue to lift north. Cloud coverage sticks around, and as we get you into the overnight, that's when we have a better chance at heavier rain, mainly in northwest Ohio and west of 71, and the chance for a few thunderstorms. You can see already some thunder and lightning closer to the Cincinnati area and parts of Indiana where they have a better chance at severe weather. But some places are going to get uh, some decent rainfall as we get into the next few hours. Here's the track of barrel right now. Again, post-tropical winds at uh, 30 miles per hour, gusts at 40. It'll continue moving through the state of Indiana into parts of northwest Ohio by the overnight and then getting into your Wednesday afternoon and Thursday, it'll start to move across parts of Michigan and then Canada and then eventually we'll move out of the region as we get into your Thursday and even Friday. Now for the potential for severe weather, the strongest potential is south of us, closer to Cincinnati, parts of southern Indiana and even Kentucky, but we are under a marginal risk and because of the tropical nature of this storm, we do have the chance to see a quick spin up as we get into the overnight. Now I will say this threat is mainly going to be west of 71, so some of our western counties have a better opportunity to see that, meaning Ottawa, Sandusky, uh, Seneca County, Erie and Huron County, those are probably the counties that we'll need to watch out for as we get into the overnight. Tornado watch already in place south of our area. Again, not including us, uh, but that is where we're expecting a better severe weather threat. It's going to be in parts of Southern Ohio, Indiana and Kentucky, and then a flood watch for parts of Illinois and even uh, Indiana. And that's where they're expecting to get the heaviest of the rainfall. And as we take you past midnight, that up until about 8 a.m. I'd say is kind of the window we're looking out for the threat for some heavier rain and some storms to start to move on in. Better chance for that right around I-75, but some of those counties right on the cusp could see some heavier rain and even the potential for a storm. And that's what we're gonna be monitoring as we get you into the night. So make sure that phone is charged up and turned on before you head off to bed. It's uh, a good night tonight to have a way to get uh, alerts uh, if you need them and again especially if you're west of 71 I would definitely have that phone on overnight east of that that severe threat is a little bit lower it's not zero but it is going to be lower and you have a, a lesser chance to see some showers so again counties east of 71 you're a little bit kind of out of the picture um, we'll have some heavier rain maybe a few thunderstorms but west of 71 is really the region we're watching out for as we take you into the overnight Here's a look right around 10 o'clock. That's when we'll start to see some of that heavier rain start to move into the area, moving across the region by one, two o'clock in the morning. And these are the storms we're watching out for where we could have some brief rotation in a few of those heavier downpours. That'll continue to move off to the north and east and really kind of out of the region by six, seven and eight o'clock. We'll be done with the heavier rain by the morning commute but we could have some ponding, the possibility of some flooded roadways, depending on where you are. And we are gonna keep some showers around through the day. Spotty uh, and, and definitely not a washout of a day, but we'll be dealing with on and off showers pretty much all day long on Wednesday. And then Thursday, we'll have a lot of quiet time with just the chance for a few sprinkles in the afternoon. Talking about how much rain we're expected to see, I'd say closer to 75 is where we have a better chance to see one to two inches of rainfall. As we get into Ottawa, Sandusky, Seneca County, Erie, Huron, probably around an inch in spots, especially if you catch yourself underneath a heftier downpour. 
and then as we get to 71 and then east of that, uh, a lesser chance for rain unless you do catch yourself underneath uh, a thunderstorm or two, which locally that could bring some heavier rainfall. John asks, uh, how far west of 71, a few miles west of 71 in Medina? I'd say if you are in Medina, Medina County, you'll probably get uh, maybe half of an inch of rain uh, if you're lucky, especially if you're in the west side of Medina. But all in all, you're kind of staying clear of a lot of the heavier rain and the severe weather. So Medina County should kind of be in the clear. Um, the same goes for Ashland County, Wayne County, not expecting much heavier rain. But as we get uh, west of Richland County, a better chance to see some heavier rain and even a few thunderstorms. Uh, Michelle's asking, any severe weather for Stark County after midnight? No, I, I think anyone east of 71 is going to stay pretty much in the clear of any severe weather. Again, a lot of this is going to be kind of western, northwest Ohio. You may get a few thunderstorms, but really not expecting anything uh, severe beyond maybe some gusty thunderstorms moving on in. But I, I think that chance is going to be pretty low. All right, let's give you a look at that eight-day forecast. So again, we'll really be monitoring the weather. I'm staying here overnight, and we'll meet uh, Scott in the morning around 2 o'clock, so we have you completely covered. Uh, again, if you need anything, so keep the phones on, have a way to get alerts if need be. We'll see spotty showers throughout the day on Wednesday. Thursday, most of the day is pretty quiet beyond maybe a, a sprinkle here or there, but it's going to be a little bit cooler, upper 70s. And then Friday and the weekend is looking really nice. We'll have more kind of on and off afternoon pop-ups as we get into Sunday and next week as our temperatures climb into the upper 80s and chance to see 90. Again, uh, we are going to kind of show the map of where we're expecting the heaviest of the rainfall. And I'd say mainly Richland County and west of that is kind of where we're expecting. So that does include parts of Erie, Huron, Sandusky, Seneca, Ottawa counties, those will probably be the ones we're really monitoring as we get into the overnight between midnight and about 8 a.m. where we have the potential for some stronger storms to move on in. Again, the chance is low for any type of tornadic rotation, but it is not zero. So we'll be watching out for some of those storms overnight. If you're around 71 and east of that, we could have a few thunderstorms move in, but that chance is kind of less of seeing heavier rain. It, we are going to get some spotty rain showers here and there, but a better chance west of 71. We'll be on at 10 o'clock tonight. We'll have a, another look at the radar in the hour by hour. You can join us then, or you can always find the latest forecast at fox8.com. Under the forecast discussion, have a great night.